Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So, I hope you are already aware about this that CSIR has announced their official answer key as well as a response sheet and both of them are now available on CSIR website. I will give you the link in the description of this video so you can directly go and download uh, these your answer key as well as your response sheet and also you have time to challenge the answers. Now, I asked for from you guys if you have any question which you think that needs to be challenged and the most number of queries which I received is for this question ID uh, 701075. Now this was a question which was from organometallic compounds and I'm going to discuss about this all right. So let's understand the question first of all the question says that from the following 18 electron complexes identify those which predominantly undergoes or undergo substitution reaction by POME hole thrice via an associative mechanism. Now, there are two, three very important thing which you have to note down from the question. Okay. The first thing is that, that all these complexes which are given are 18 electron species or 18 electron complexes. And you have to see that which of these undergo substitution reaction by this ligand, which is POME3. And this should also undergo via a associative mechanism. Okay. So, these three things are important. If you look upon the complexes, the first one is manganese complex MnCO4NO. So, you have nitrosyl as a ligand over here. Then there is trans chromium complex, uh, which is uh, over. Okay. First of all, this complex is having a, a coordination number of 5. This also has, this has a coordination number of 6. So, it is basically an octahedral complex in which uh, both this P, PH3 groups are in transposition to each other. This is again octahedral complex in which the, the uh, like isomer is cis isomer. And the next one is uh, where the, you have a eta 5 CP group and along with that you have cobalt and you have two carbonyl groups attached. Now, if you look upon the option, the option says A, B and C only or A only or A and D only or B and D only. The answer which is given in the answer key is option number 3, which says A and D. That means according to the answer key, it says that option A and option D both are correct. That means both of them should undergo associative reactions or basically they, both of them are going to show you substitution reaction in the presence of this ligand via an associative mechanism. Now, there are various approach which are being taken by the student and uh, what I am getting from you guys or what I am like listening from you guys is that the correct answer should have been option number 2, okay. Uh, but it, it is 3, so you need a reference or something like that. So, let me tell you frankly, I could not get a reference for this, okay. But I think the answer which is given according to the answer key is right, okay. Although I have not got any reference, a very, you know, strong reference in support of their answer also, but I can explain you a few things, okay. That is why I am here. I just want to make the things clear and like I am open for discussion. You can discuss out the things with me because I do not say that whatever I am saying because we do not have a proper reference. So, that is why I cannot say that because reference is not there. So, you cannot be 100 percent sure about something, okay. So, I am open for discussion. You can discuss with your points in the comments below. Fine. So, let us come up to the question now, okay. The thing it says is that we only have to discuss about A and option D, okay. So, let me first of all tell you that what exactly associative mechanism is just in short. So, basically if you have a metal and you have n number of ligand and let us say if you are reacting it with some other ligand, let us say X. So, what happens over here is that in the associative mechanism, you have a kind of transition state getting formed. So, in this case, see there are two types of mechanism, there are two types of substitution which happens, one is dissociative, one is associative. In the dissociative, one ligand first leaves and then the other ligand comes. So, basically one ligand when it leaves, you get vacancy created for the, for the incoming ligand and then the ligand comes. So, that is what is called dissociative because the first ligand has dissociated and then a new ligand has come in, okay. So, basically you can, okay, let me just write down for dissociative first. So, yeah, so steps involved in this particular reaction will be like you will be having MLN minus 1. That means in this step, one ligand has been removed and now your X is going to bind and you are going to form a MLN minus 1 X. That means you have N minus 1 means you have one less L here. So, if 
you were having six ligand here now you have five here okay so this is dissociative mechanism okay why because the ligand got dissociated here but the associative mechanism says that you have this and if you bring up your ligand uh, the ligand which needs to substitute this so instead of leaving uh, or instead of breaking of metal ligand bond you have uh, like one ligand which is going to form a kind of transition state which will be formed here and in the next step this is going to leave so the first step which happens over here is the association of the incoming ligand it's not whereas in the previous one there was the first step was the dissociation of the ligand and then the the incoming ligand came and bind into it so this is your associative associative substitution all right so i think now you have got the point so the ligand or the complex which will be formed will be n minus 1 x and plus l so l ligand is eliminated or it is substituted now the thing is that like there are certain points for dissociative mechanism this ligand should have a proper or you can say that it should have uh, certain things which it should have in order to undergo dissociation uh, the thing the first thing is that generally 18 electron species undergo dissociative mechanism okay and coordinate coordination number should be unsaturated or coordinatively unsaturated okay so coordinatively unsaturated sorry saturated here it should be saturated that means if it has a higher coordination number means coordination number 6 or 7 or 8 in that case dissociation is easy because then only because see uh, in if the coordination number is more 5 or 6 association is different uh, difficult right if already 5 or 6 ligands are uh, are surrounding a particular metal how a new metal or how a new ligand is going to come and bind so that's why dissociation takes place when the coordination number is high okay i can write down in short that the coordination number coordination number is high here Whereas for associative mechanism, generally 16 electron species or 17 electron species undergo this and they should be coordinatively un unsaturated. Okay, coordinatively unsaturated. Unsaturated means, uh, yeah, so unsaturated means the coordination number here is low. Now, this is not a hard and fast rule okay this is not something which needs to be followed everywhere because in this question you can see that it already says that all the ligands are 18 electron okay so which of them is going to undergo associative mechanism so even 18 electron species also undergo uh, associative mechanism if they are coordinatively unsaturated okay so 18 electron species can also undergo this okay so 18 electron okay let me change the color so yeah so 18 electron species can also undergo can also undergo associative uh, substitution okay but there are certain things required the first point is that it should have a coordination number should be low okay that's the sec first point and the second point is that you should have a ligand which does not have a fixed hepaticity or the hepaticity of the ligand should be able to change and in that case this process becomes easier okay so a ligand with variable hepaticity now how does it happen so uh, if you look upon the first option which is a which you all agree on because those who are in favor of option 2 they also agree that option a is going to undergo okay first of all let me just tell you about coordination number if you go along with the coordination number so here in option number b coordination number is 6 here also coordination number is 6 here coordination number is 5 and here coordination number is 3 so chances of b and c to undergo associative substitution mechanism is very different difficult why because the coordination number is high in these cases whereas if you look upon option a and d they follow both the things coordination number is comparatively lower and the ligand is available with a variable hepaticity now if you look upon option a you have no which is nitrosyl it has uh, like it can bind in two ways although the hepaticity is not different basically the way how it binds is is different no can bind 
as a linear uh, ligand or as a bent ligand when it binds as a linear ligand it donates one electron whereas when it binds as a bent ligand in that case it donates three electron okay so it can have variable uh, like electron share and that's how uh, your that's how the associative mechanism is going to play a role over there so the no is going to change itself from the bent state to the linear state in order to make availability of two electrons which is going to come from this ligand pome3 and that's how this mechanism is going to go through so that's pretty simple and you all agree on that right so i'm not going to explain that part but in option number d it can again go according to the heptacity okay or the variable heptacity so this is your complex given to you okay uh, yeah this is the complex given to you so what will happen in the first step that you are adding p o, o m e 3 right this is what you want to add so instead of uh, coming like this your first step will be that this particular ligand is going to change its heptacity from 5 to 3 okay it is going to make it 3 so this is what it is going to make so here it was eta 5 cp co co2 here it is eta 3 cp CO2. So, this was 18 electron species, but now it is a 16 electron species, and because it is a 16 electron species, that is why this POOME3 can come and bind into it. Okay, so it has basically vacancy where POOME3 can come and bind. So, although this happens in a single step, but I can show you in a different step, like so this is going to come and bind, and the final product that will be formed will be. CO, CO, CO and POME 3, okay. So, that means that this process has happened through associative mechanism, uh, the ligand, there is no dissociation of ligand happened and a new ligand has come and bind, okay. And then in the next step, the dissociation will take place of course, because final product will be a substitution product. So, in the next step, uh, your uh, CO is going to basically leave. So, you will have a loss of CO group and uh, okay, let me show you on this side. Okay, so yeah, so basically a CO group is going to leave and the hepticity is again going to change to 5. So, the final product which will be formed will be this POME3. So, if you look upon the initial and the final compound, it looks like that it has substituted one of the carbonyl group this ligand, but it has not gone through direct substitution or dissociative substitution, but associative substitution in which this ligand has first bind to the complex, formed a kind of transition state and then the ligand dissociation of a particular or sorry, the substitution of the ligand or elimination of a particular ligand has happened and then it looks like the substitution reaction, but in all the process goes like this. Okay. So, that means that D option is also one of them which can undergo associative mechanism. So, the answer which is given to according to the answer key of CSIR seems to be correct and I do not think it needs to be challenged. Now, I tried to find some references according to it, but there are very few complexes of uh, eta 5 CO CO 2 that uh, are like, like that are being mentioned. I tried to look upon research papers. I could not find more or I could not find much. Okay. So, I pardon for that. If you have any reference to let me know in the comments, you can give me a link or DOI code or anything of the research paper or any book if you want to refer or if you are referring to, okay. But one thing which I found is in BD Gupta and I will show you that, okay. It is not a concrete reference, but still like we can consider that. So, this is a BD Gupta book. Um, so, this uh, is the chapter number 9 which is ligand substitution reaction and flexionality in the organometallic complexes. Uh, I am here at page number 173 and if you come to problems and exercises of that, which is at page number 174, you will see that there is a question which says which among the following reactions will be faster and why. Now, we will not go into this question and we will not go into solution of that question, but if you look upon, they have mentioned a complex over here, which is eta 5 CO CO whole twice, uh, which is the same complex option number D and it is reacting with PPH3 and it is showing us a 
substitution reaction but this also like has been go like this reaction will go through uh, associative uh, mechanism why because again this cp is going to change its subtacity and undergo this reaction to form this product but the only thing was, which was asked was which among is faster and why okay so that means both of them will happen both of them are going to undergo some one of them is going to be faster so considering that this reaction is possible and uh, that's also could be one of the thing which you should consider many of you were uh, mentioning about bd bd gupta book in the comments which i read so if you have a proper reference please do let me know in the comments section page number which will be very much appreciated because then it becomes easy for me to find it uh, so yeah as of now i think that the answer key which is given is right if i'll get a proper reference before uh, the time of uh, challenging the question ends if i get a proper reference i'll make another video and probably i will remove this video or i'll probably uh, you know private this video but yeah as of now i think this is uh the, the explanation for this question i hope i was clear enough and i hope you understood the concept in case if you are not ever aware about associative mechanism probably now you know what exactly it is okay so that's it from my side and a very important announcement over here uh, that we have already launched our gamma batch for physical chemistry uh, for the upcoming csa net exam so in case if you are preparing for that you can join us the links are there in the description of this video you can just follow the link purchase our course and you can enjoy my classes on physical chemistry for the upcoming csa net exam uh, more about that is given in the in the video over here you can get uh, you will be able to see that video link so see you guys in the next one take care bye bye